Hello! Today I will show you a very interesting trick in the SQL how is possible to split one long string into multiples. Nowadays it's quite often needed when you can't use XML but you forced to be used some long string. Uh, here you can see the few examples what kind of strings can look like. Yeah, this uh, basic examples I did by myself. Yeah, that uh, here is one long string, and you can see the logic inside that uh, beginning of the string starting with the head. It means that uh, after keyword head follows the parameters for the header of the order for example and then uh, after each keyword line will follow information about line yeah here we can see the first line here we can see uh, the second line and so on uh, it's my fake example but uh, below i can show you the real life example from the real life, yeah. In, in this case, it's a a de facto format, some Finnish uh, transportation format, uh, which are very huge. If it's it if it will be highlighted, you can see how long it is. Yeah, somehow check. Yeah, you, you can see that it's a huge, huge uh, string with many data, and uh, unfortunately, it's not XML. So, but what to uh, what to do and uh, how to process such kind of string? Uh, I made a basic example here, which you can find as well in the comments uh, for this video. And now I can explain you how it works. So, at the beginning, we can define the variables string in it with uh, maximum lens it is a variable for storing our uh, original string then we need to have uh, two variables for start and end of the string of of the substring which we will looking for yeah and then uh, for the beginning uh, we will assign to each of the variables minus one it was the beginning. Then as well uh, for the str in, uh, we will assign our original string. In our case, this is a fake string which I just explained before. And as well, uh, in case, for example, if we, if we will need to uh, result show as a table, then I simply create uh, a va variable table which we'll call str out yeah where we can store our resulting substrings yes you can see that uh, in this uh, variable table only one column out string which has a type and varchar max okay then what will be inside inside we have a cycle with condition that this cycle will run until string end will not equal to zero. It means as soon as uh, we will not be able to find in the string our key word anymore, the cycle will stop. And what's happening inside the cycle? First of all, we need to find when star start our keyword our keyword which we are looking for is line yeah as you can see here is line line and line and we need to find find when this uh, line keyword is starting and uh, we are looking it for uh, in uh, variables str in and starting from start position plus one at the beginning it will be minus one plus one is zero and uh, later it uh, will simply add one uh, to the next 
to the next occurrence of this keyword yes and as you can see that we we are looking for the starting position of this keyword and we assign it to the str start then to the variable str end we assign next occurrence of keyword line yeah and uh, in this case again how we're looking at it that we are taking our starting point uh, add one we need to do it in order to avoid that we will find the same starting point as for the starting parameter yeah so after we get starting position and ending position of each element inside the string in other words we can call it substring then we can make a query to the string and at the beginning we will show uh, the starting point just to understand uh, the position when it starts then we will make this condition uh, in order to understand where substring is ended uh, I did this uh, condition because uh, for the last substring we will not find the end and uh, we need to make a condition that if str end equal to zero then end of the string will be the length of the string otherwise we simply will show the next substring occurrence inside and finally in order to show our substring we will need to use sql uh, standard command substring with different parameters first of all we should define our original string str in then we define starting point for our substring which we get before and then in order to define the length of our substring we need from the end of substring yeah it is here and we get it one step before from this uh, end of the substring we need to subtract starting point of the same string and uh, then uh, in the result we will get the length of the string yes in order to make it uh, more visual i will show it as well here in the result i will call it length of substring like this good so and now let's try to execute this script what we see in the result in the first column we see starting position of our substring then we see ending position of our substring and the length of each substring yes you see that in different cases we have different lengths and finally the last column is our substring which we need to get so but uh, how we can improve uh, the following script usually we don't need it uh, we don't need result in many separate uh, queries between but we need it like a one data set in order to get it uh, like a one data set let's use our predefined uh, variable table str out and let's uh, record the result there in order to do that we can comment our query here like that and i will enable insert command which will put inside the variable table the substring itself and finally at the end of the script we will show the result of this uh, temporary table like that so let's check what we get 
what we can see. Now we get uh, one query with six lines. And uh, if you will cross check, then you can see that these six lines are coming from this long string. So I hope you like this query, this uh, SQL. If you have some questions, you can write me in comments. And uh, thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.